Hey everyone, it's Calvin, also known as Warmer, and this is Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. This is my first ever playthrough of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Will they even let me talk to Ishimaru at this point? Should I hang out and talk for a while? Yeah, we should, to try and cheer him up. I know it's not going to be able to cheer him up from something so horrible, but we could try. Do something. I am a kept an eye on the half-conscious Taka. Taka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Taka a present? Yes, of course I would like to give him a present. I have the guide that I have here that, give, that was given to me. By a friend. Thank you very much, friendo. Uh, and I think we're gonna do... Let's see if we have anything here for him. Um, we might not even have something for him. At that point, I'm probably just gonna like... You probably won't even see... It. Red Scarf, I guess, we could give to him. But I think we gave him the Red Scarf already, right? So I'm wondering if like... If like he will like be like... Nah, I don't like that. If we give him a present, the same present. I mean, we could try. How does he not like old-timey radio? That would be like a love old-timey radio. Uh, fun playing, Project Zombie, Tips and Tricks, Maiden's Handbags, the second button. I think he likes this. Oh, wow. Wait, so that was our time with Taka. Wow. Oh, he came just later. Okay. Taka. Is it true? Can I really see Chihiro? Oh, my God. No, this isn't the free. This isn't free time. This is just the story. You mean Alter Ego? Is still alive? No, not quite. Let me see, I want to talk to him. Taka, the way he is now, there's no way I can explain what's going on to him. Kyoko said we're not allowed to use the alter ego, but even so, I can't just leave him here like this. Okay, why don't we get going? This is strange. I can see, yeah, take me. I mean, let, let's go then. We have to go to the bathhouse. Ky Hi, Kyoko. Me and, me and Taka are just going on a little trip. Uh. I guess we should talk to her just first. Where are you going? Huh? Hey. It's probably best if you don't drag him around with you too much, given his current condition. I kind of agree. Kyoko looked at Taka standing behind me. Yeah, I know that. But I was getting kind of hungry and I thought we could head to the dining hall or warehouse or something. Correct. Well, then I guess that's okay. I saw, I saw a brief flicker of doubt, but maybe that was just my imagination. Oh my god, you're you're like not that scary over there, are ya? Oh my god. Oh, because there's a laptop inside the locker, understand? And on the laptop there's a program called Alter Ego. How do I talk to him? Oh um, well you just tell me what you want to say and I'll type it for in for you. Do you hate Mondo? Oh my god. And since I couldn't stop him, do you hate me? It was clear he was forcing himself to get the words out. From his mouth and the bottom of his heart, he forced his weakened voice to make the sounds. Please. Okay. I tied the questions exactly as Taka asked them. And then... So, um... Do you hold yourself responsible? But... If Master could talk now, I think that is this is what uh, he would say. Please live your life for the both of us. It's impossible for me now, but you can still survive and escape, all of you. That does sound like something Chihiro might say. Itaka. I was about to say more, but quickly close my mouth. The one asking those questions is Taka, right? Analyzing all available data, uh, that's the only conclusion I can come to. Master told me how close Taka and Mondo had become, so that must be why he feels responsible. The screen suddenly went dark, and what appeared next was... You're not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of that responsibility, are you? Yo. A man's worth is only as much as the load he can carry. Jesus Christ. You get it, right, bro? Well, what am I saying? Of course you do. That's... So. I'm sorry if I startled you. That was my attempt at a simulation using the data about Mondo that Master had given me. I figured if Taka was depressed, that's the kind of thing Mondo would have said to him. Yo. So you're just gonna stand there, I'll uh, just wait for things to get better? Just take your time and get all depressed. Take the time to indulge your regrets. You might even start walking again without realizing it. 
Sure, that kind of mediocre thinking might work for some people. What if I said it with that kind of condescending tone? Is Taka better? It's starting to sink in. The way a bucket full of water sinks to a bone dry sponge. Huh? Those words deep within my heart. They're inside of me. Taka? Oh my god. Wait, no! What the hell's happening? Who the fudge is Taka? Your eyes! Hey, don't worry about it. I guess I kind of a, I kind of cause, I caused kind of a scene, huh? Shoot, man! What the hell happened? And your voice. Yeah. I'm a new me. <laughs> totally stuff a fighting spear now, you dumb butt. Ishimaru. Okay, Taka, just calm down. I am Kalen. Don't call me Taka. That's not my name anymore. I'm me. I am me. Taka let a bone-chilling howl and ran out of the room. Hey, Taka, hold on. And took off after him, but someone stood in my way. As if tagging, t tagging Taka out, she walked briskly into the dressing just a room. Second. What do you think you're doing? Kyoko, what What do you mean? Can we not just address what just happened? Oh no, see, this Enough is just... Already. Don't go around doing whatever you feel like it. It causes problems. And not just for me, for everyone. Yeah, true. Sorry. Correct. If you're really sorry, you'll get out of here now. Okay. Finally headed back to my room, embarrassed and sullen. But still, what was with Taka's sudden freakout? I'm seriously worried about him. Ding dong, bing bong! <coughs> so that was a whole day. That was a weird free time, I suppose. <laughs> Um, glad we got to talk to Taka again. Well, not talk, but see Taka before he changed one more time. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> I guess I'll have to wait until tomorrow to figure out Taka's whole thing. For now, it's time to sleep. Man. What the hell? Like, this doesn't feel real. <laughs> what in the world just happened? You want to know why I hate video games? Ah! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, you might not believe this, but I had a best friend once. Actually, he was my only friend, but unlike me, he had all kinds of friends. So me and him were at his house one day when a big group of guys showed up to hang out. They just brought the latest big budget video game. They sat there and lost. Uh, they sat there lost in the game, passing the controller back and forth for hours. But not me. I just sat there watching. That night, I just watched. What's wrong with that? I didn't care. Just by watching, I was able to nail down all the best strategies, even though I never actually played and it. I don't plan on ever playing it in the future either. Okay, dude. Well done, letting everyone know. Yay! That's one thing I know from Five Nights at Freddy's is that do 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 the yay! It is now seven a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and get ready to. Is it another free time or is it? All right, I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. I need to tell everyone what happened with Taka yesterday. So it's not free time. It's just you just like go talk to Taka. I wonder if they knew I was going to talk to Taka as well, like yesterday when I did it with the before the that part. That part. Hmm. You know. Yo, I've been waiting. Are you the only one here? Where's everyone else? They went on ahead. Went on ahead to where? Hey, come on. We can talk about it later. For now, let's go take a bath. Bath? Why? What is our obsession with baits? Oh, it's code. Look me, what's going on? What's happened? Save me, I've never asked for anything, for, for uh, you for anything, but I'm asking now. What happened? She's trying to kill me. Look me, pointed at Kyoko, yeah. Huh, Kyoko's trying to kill you? I never said I was going to kill him. I simply asked him a question. I'd like to know why. He made the same mistake twice. What is the same mistake? The same mistake, what did he do? So... He snuck into the dressing room in the middle of the night and accessed Alter Ego without permission. And when I caught him last night, he was hugging the laptop and breathing strangely. 
What were you doing? I thought I made myself clear yesterday, but since uh, being subtle didn't work, I suppose I have to clarify myself further. Please don't kill me! Wrong. I'm not going to kill you, merely instruct you. How very sad. So, do I talk to everyone here? I see. Whatever it was, I can't help it be suspicious. Honestly. I have an idea what he was getting up to, but uh, just ridiculous. Is he? He? I saw Hina in here. Mm. Uh, I think a pretty good idea what Ifumi was getting up to. I love that everyone's just like, "Yep, there she is." How are you doing, Hina? Huh? Groping the laptop and breathing all creepily on it. Seriously, what were you doing? Um, Ifumi, could you tell me what happened? Well, well I was just talking. However. Which was prohibited, was it not? <laughs> I mean, you see. Talking to her was just so much fun, and I just... Uh, um... Okay, Taima, I can't believe I'm about to ask this, but... Ufumi, you're not gonna tell us you fell in love with something, are you? <laughs> that, uh, the cold-blooded killing machine of the underworld could never fall in love. That's... Well, wait, no way. Is seem... is this love? According to the spirits... I happened to do a, a psyche reading for a certain famous CEO once, and that guy was seriously head over heels for a mannequin. He had a wedding and everything. And your eyes just now, I saw the same look in his eyes. Oh, no, She's not a mannequin, she's an angel! I feel as And don't if... bother telling me angels uh, don't, uh, angels exist. Don't, um, don't bother telling angels exist. What? What we have can't be defined by your petty words. <sighs> yeah, you're totally in love. <sighs> so how do things end up like this? Well, at the beginning, I just wanted to hear her say master one more time. Oh. Ooey, ooey, ooey. Then I was poking around her settings and stuff and saw she was a well-designed program. And I was like, how can I say it was the first time I was able to talk like that with a normal girl? <sighs> but she's definitely not a normal girl. What? Even when all we did was talk about my hobbies and stuff, she wasn't annoyed or disgusted or anything. Oh, God. <laughs> Your stories are so interesting, Ifumi. Wait, you know she's lying now. Come on, tell me more. I will learn everything you have to teach me. I... Oh. That's the first time a girl's ever said anything like that to me, besides my mom, I mean. Hey. Your mom says stuff like that to you? That's kind of amazing all by itself. <laughs> it's That's why I was just so happy. It was so much fun. You can see this a lot. Ha this happens a lot in life, not just in, um... But I mean, like, let's use the show, like, 90 Day Fiancé as an example. It's, it's, it's a show that, like, is one of the highest rated shows of all time in terms of TV ratings, not like, uh, like, star ratings. Um, but, like... You see that like these guys fall head over heels and these girls fall head over heels for these guys and girls or whatever um, because they pay them these compliments and a lot of times they like never had this before in their lives. It doesn't excuse a lot of the stuff that like those people do when they go across the world and abandon their families. I'm not saying that, I'm not making excuses, but I'm just trying to like give a reason for it. People will do that. Um, I remember as a teenager, you know what I mean? Mine and mine, I'll just say, like, you know, I was, I was a, you know, a person who didn't really have a girlfriend until he was, like, 15. And so you kind of, like, have this situation where it's, like, you know, the first girl that likes you, you like them a lot. And it was similar with my girlfriend at the time as well, because I was, like, the first guy who liked her. And we had this, like, kind of, like, almost arranged relationship, because we were taught, like, it was just, like, like, we were so happy that these people liked it. And then, of course, like, you move on, and you find people that actually like you for you and stuff. And it gets a little bit different. But I, I wouldn't go to these likes, <laughs> I'll just tell you that much now. <laughs> but I can totally, I just want to explain, I guess, what I'm thinking along with this. And before I knew it, I found myself, you know, liking her, her face, her personality, her voice, even her keyboard. Well... Even the keyboard? <sighs> I think you haven't misunderstood the situation for me. Are you okay with Alter this? was not interested in you, who you were. It was interested in what you knew. It's an artificial intelligence that exists, exists to learn, yep. And of course I wanted to hear things it did not know. You were an expert in many things Chihiro uh, could not have taught it about, for what it's worth. Alter Ego wants information, that is all. I know that. I know, I mean, I do know that, but still. Are you you're saying it's totally hopeless? <laughs> you gotta be freaking kidding me. What? Oh, here he is! Hey, you jerks! I'm sitting here listening to you guys jibber-jabber on about whatever. What happened oh. to you? Hey, Taka, are you back? <gasps> Who else, Taka? Huh? Um, you? <laughs> Listen up. It, I'm me, got it? I'm having a crisis of identity here. I have this too. It's fine. I'm going through it right now. You're who? What? Don't bullcrap me, isn't it obvious? I'm Kiyotaka and Mondo. So like Kia Mondo, I guess. Oh my god, wait a second. I just realized I have Mondo and Taka, but I want them separately. I like them as their own personalities, but if this is how I have to have it, I'll do I'll deal with it. I'm gonna stick a banana up your tailpipe! 
Okay. What, what the hell kind of fusion is this? What happened to you, Taka? Actually. Well then. So because of what all Ego said to him. Um, are you sure it's all Ego's fault? Maybe Mondo's ghost showed up and possessed him. We're not still going on about the scene, are we? Ghost, there's no such thing. What are y'all whining about? Come on. What? God, you're really cheesing me off. Hey, Fumi. <laughs> yes? Yeah. I know what you're thinking, but you. bro belongs to me. Huh? Yeah. Alter Ego, he's an exact copy of the one who gave me my soul back. <gasps> I'm not gonna let anyone else have him ever again. Fudge an idiot, he won't swear though, which is so funny. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't allow that. What? So it would seem. They're fighting over a Kampooper. They're fighting over the Kampooper. Mr. Shimaru, since I have this opportunity, let me say this right now. <laughs> Destiny has bound me and her together. I am the guardian knot of true love. Well, me and him have been melded together in this white hot heat of friendship. <laughs> hey, come on, you guys. Is that what they call it these days? The kids call it friendship these days? <laughs> Moron! Talk down to me and I'll ram my fist right into all four of your vital points. Well, I punch at the speed of sound and I don't have my, any arm hair, so there's no drag. Knock it off, both of you. That doesn't belong to any one person. Chiro left him to all of us. We can use him to finally access the vital clues. Exactly, exactly. As much as I think it's hilarious that we're doing this, as much as I love Takamando or Mondo Taka or Maka Ishi Mando Ishimaru or Manshi Ishimaru, um, like, this is actually really important. Mm. Kyoko's right. If anyone dares disturb our peace any further, they'll have to deal with me. What? Anyway. Until Alter Ego Alter has finished his work, don't do don't do anything weird. I agree. I do agree with this. I know I love the fun, but I agree with this. Haven't made myself clear. So? I can't hear you. I suppose. Yeah. Got it. So then. Okay, let's get out of here. We can't afford to linger too long. Hey. Are you sure it's okay to let me off? Uh, let him off with a warning? Indeed. Yes, I have a plan. It'll be fine. After Fumi and Taka leave dejected, we all went back to our rooms. It's still morning, but because of everything that's happened, I'm tired already. Well, anyway, I just have to pull myself together. What should I do for the rest of my day? Free time! Wait a second. So. I think this is weirder than even the Genocide Jill stuff. I'll be honest. <laughs> this stuff gets very crazy. Okay, so. Let's see who we're going to talk to. Um, who's in here? Ifumi? No. Uh, is there still people upstairs? There's probably people upstairs in that room. Yeah, so we have Kyoko, uh, Hina. Uh, is he, is, is he going to have white hair now? I guess not. Oh, uh, let's go upstairs anyway. That's where we're, that's where we're going next anyway. Um, the idea is uh, that Hina, Kyoko, and Taka are the ones that I really want to talk to the most. Um, now, if you're not into that, this is probably not the playthrough for you. But they literally, it was literally going to be Sayaka, Mondo, Ishimaru, Hina, and Kyoko, and Chihiro. This game was like, what if I just, what if I just kill off like four of those real quick? <laughs> Hey, hey, Calvin, you know, I don't really like those guys and all, but uh, what if I just, like, uh, murder them? Uh, do you have to murder them? I'm sorry, guys, but how can I not talk to Kyotaka Ishimaru? Okay, just in case, we're very close to, to Kiyotaka anyway. Let's talk to Hina for now. Just in case. Okay. You know, we don't know, we don't know if, if like, this, how much free time we have left. I, I'm playing this game completely blind. I'm trying to get up the Hina presence thing. If it's around, where's Hina's name? There it is. Grant. The opposite of possible isn't impossible, it's challenge. Hmm. That's a quote from the famous baseball player, Jackie Robinson. And we have to remember, this is just a challenge. We ha can't give up. Should I talk to Hina for a while? Yeah, spend some time with Hina. Okay, you want to go for a walk? I don't care where to. Although, no matter where we go, we're still stuck in this stupid school. True. Hina and I wake, uh, walked aimlessly around the school. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hina a present? Of course! 
Hina, I already gave you a donut. So let's see if we have anything else. We don't have any more donuts anyway, so. Um, let's see. Do we have roller slippers? No, that's not something she likes. Uh, what do you like? Jimmy Decay. That's like a band shirt. No, Tumbleweed, Unending Dandelion, Rose Whip, Muramasu, Golden Ring Gun, uh, Sign and Receiver, All Time Radio, Moon Rock, Azura's Tears. I wonder if, like, I'm actually gonna miss out. Like, if I miss out on some stuff, I might, I might not have something for her, which would be very sad. Oh my god, I might not actually have something for her. Yeah. No, there's no way. There's no way I don't have something for Hina. No, I do. Kitten hair clip. <laughs> well, thoughtful. This is why I like you, Makoto. I mean, not like, like, like that kind of like, like, like. Seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Is something wrong, Hina? I've reached my limit. I'm stuck in here. I can't do any sports. Can't do anything. I'm sick of it. I want to get out under the sun and do some laps. Run a marathon. I want to do some real sports. Hina, calm down, okay? I can't do anything here. If I can't move around, I'm going to die like a bunny rabbit. But I always heard rabbits die from loneliness. Whatever, I'm going to die if I can't get some proper physical activity. Don't you think that's a little extreme? You think I'm kidding, don't you? But I seriously can't sit still, you know? Why else would I have joined the six sports teams in school? Six? Yeah, he said it before. Yeah, six? Right. Yeah, track, basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and the big one. The big one? She got to hear her main sport, but I ran, ran out of juice. I think it's got to be... Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, you got it. I don't even care what stroke it is. Just get me in the pool under the blue sky. Oh, really? You don't care what stroke it is? Maybe you care about the backstroke. But isn't it hard to do any uh, sports, even for you? You you all got a dirty mind. You thought I was going to say something else. Dirty minds. Dirty minds a lot of you. You, you. you decide whether that's a good thing or a bad thing for yourself. And then come see me in my office later, okay? And either give me an apology or an acceptance letter, okay? One accepting yourself, one apologizing for yourself. I'll see you later. But it's hard for it's hard to do that many sports even for you. Well, if I can't move, I'll just shrivel up and die. And I need to challenge more and more new stuff to try. A challenge? I mean, what I really love about sports isn't winning. You know, it's having to fight and struggle and give it all to reach the. You got to reach the top. It's that excitement, that fear that you might suffer a heartbreaking but... loss. When you finally reach that goal, it's just lonely. It's lonely at the top, you know. I never really got into sports, so I couldn't really relate to what she was talking about. But I could tell that the reason Hina was so amazing was how hard she could fight and struggle. Um... So that's why I want to push myself as hard as possible when it comes to swimming. I want to aim for the very highest mountaintop. The highest mountaintop? Okay. I'm talking about the gold medal, of course. Aim for the gold, even if it means I'm super gold spaz. Did she just call herself... Okay, if that's what you want, isn't that all the more reason? If you have a goal, why are you just standing around making excuses? Huh? Excuses? When did I ever make any excuses? Sure, maybe we're stuck in here right now with no way out, but if you really want to make an effort, shouldn't you try uh, to see what you can do in here? That's what that, that's a challenge. You just made an official challenge. Yeah, totally. But I think you're right. If I want to get that gold medal, I have to make every effort I can. I want to become a genius of effort. I bet Ian Thorpe said something like that. Okay. Yeah, I can go around. I can't go around making excuses just because we're stuck in here. All right, I think I'm gonna do some push-ups in my room, like maybe around a thousand or something. It's actually pretty interesting seeing it from this perspective as well. Like, you know, we all want to save our families. We all want to get out of here alive. Uh, but some people just like will go go mad without sports. I remember when the pandemic started, uh, one of the kids in my class, the first thing he said to me was, Sir, uh, are we going to be playing? Sp uh, are sports going to be a thing still? Everyone has their own perspectives on what they care about. Everyone thinks about their own things. Uh, you know, it, and I, f I feel like that's probably one of the most interesting aspects about one, one of the most interesting aspects to me about humans as well, because like I would say, the smallest things make a character do really well, always. Um, and like how they react in this sense is pretty cool. 
I don't know. Almost before she was done talking, he didn't talk off like a batter to hell. She recovered exactly as fast, as strong as I would have expected. There we go. Was that, that was the daytime, wasn't it? Or was it the morning time? I still have some time. Is it still free time or is it... Oh, it's not free time. It's just daytime. Which is interesting. Oh my god. What did you do with your hair? It looks amazing, girl. So how about this weather? Gotcha, I have no idea what the weather is. I mean, is this really good to hang out? Oh, we are doing free time. Okay. I didn't realize it was still free time. Okay, that's fine. That was almost a big mishap. Okay, let's go talk to Kyoko. I assume she's probably... Oh, she's not. She might not be in the same place, actually. Wait, who's in the room? I'm in my room waiting for the good... My... Wait, what the hell did that say? I thought it said his, his dual name. Okay, let's head down here. Kind of dumb that I never got to hang out with, uh, whatchamacallit. Wait, hold on a second. Let me check the map here again. Where's, where, what is that signal? So they're just hanging out in this area, I guess? Because, like, they're on here. I know I don't usually fast travel, but, like, I already came from there, so. Um, what, did that, what does that indicate? Oh, she's here. Okay. That's such a weird indication for me. I don't know. Just a second. What does it matter? Why are you bouncing around like a little rabbit? <laughs> don't you have anything to do? Should I talk to Kyoko for a while? Yeah, I'll we'll spend some time with Certainly. Kyoko. What does she like? One second. What does Kyoko like? What does Kyoko like? Does she like anything? Does she even like me? As a person, platonically. There's no reason to decline. I'm not the type to decline anyway. And I... Besides, I find myself more and more intrigued by someone like you. Yeah, someone who has ratty hair and like a very, very... smelly person. Because I've been here for so long. Well, we should be showering anyway. And I hope they wash her clothes. There is a laundry, so... <laughs> I spent some time with Kyoko. Kyoko and I grew a little closer. Yes, I would like to give her a present. How do you know? Uh, do you have any coffee? Here we go. Right there. How did you know I was interesting in this? You wear a you wear very fancy gloves with diamonds on them. A tie that is uh, nearly up to your neck. A turtleneck kind of like uh, shirt with a detective style blazer. Yes, I somehow thought you were into coffee. I don't know. <laughs> You're Enigma, Makoto Neji, Nageji, Naguju. Seeing Kyoko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Oh, Kyoko. How do you say so, so calm, Kyoko? Calm? I mean, you never lose your cool. You never show emotion. You say that like I'm some kind of inhuman beast. No, I didn't mean it like that. Hey. Well, I am human. I do have emotions. I simply keep them to myself. I don't show it in my face or in my voice. You make that sound way easier than it is, especially in these kind of circumstances. That's what we have to do. Well, you should consider trying. Your naive honesty makes you an easy target. She keeps saying things like that. It's kind of irritating. Isn't there anything I can say to get a reaction in out of other her? Words. Protect against deception and never allow others to read your emotions. And whatever stands before you, don't let them push you around. Correct. Remember that. And that's all that's why you hide your own and that's why you hide your own feelings? But that's such a waste. What? Huh? Your smile is just so cute. You should smile more, hey. No, he's not saying that. Hiding behind that mask is such a waste. A bright smile is way better. I don't know, like, she can do whatever she wants. <laughs> yes. And what are you talking? Oh, she likes it, okay. What? Cute? It's much too soon to be bringing up things like that. It looks like you got, a, uh, I got you to show a hint of emotion, didn't I? What? What? You, Makoto, you. You deceived me? Why? Wait. I don't believe this. Use words like cute to deceive someone. That's just too cruel. Oh, no. Sorry, I just got carried away, but still, I, I deceived you, but it's not like it was a total lie. You see how easily yourself are deceived? 
Yes, Kyoko! <laughs> huh? Hey. You would never just come out and call someone cute like that. Completely out of character. You thought I wouldn't pick up such an obvious ploy? What? You mean... I thought I tricked you, but I was the one getting tricked? <laughs> Watch yourself, Makoto. You're honest to a fault. With that, she was gone. The most formidable opponent. Kyoko's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You just unlocked the skill Neutral Liberation. Give yourself a pat in the back. You've earned it. Oh, so we have another skill, which is great. More and more skills. With Kyoko gone, I slowly made my way back to the I love how, like, so perfectly to get all their characters in this game. Guys, that's going to do for this video. We had another bit of free time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm really enjoying this playthrough. Um, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.